Hi, it's Alex from Android Central with the Samsung Galaxy S4. Brand new flagship smartphone from Samsung with all kinds of crazy technology under the hood. 5 inch 1080p screen, quad core CPU and all this other goodness. So to start off our coverage, we're just going to go in and take a look at some of the initial setup. Uh, so the first few menus that you see when you get your Galaxy S4, turn it on for the first time. I want to get it set up and customized. So this is the first screen you'll see firing up the S4 for the first time. You can select your language, we've also got an accessibility menu down below. That means that uh, before starting any of the setup process, you get access to all these accessibility options to help you with the uh, process if you want to. Next up we've got Wi-Fi, um, so we can get an internet connection set up and we're just entering our Wi-Fi details there off camera. Uh, after you've done Wi-Fi, it's the turn of the Samsung account. Um, that brings in all kinds of different settings from Samsung, um, also hooks into various Samsung apps. Uh, backup and restore is next and we can import settings from a Galaxy S3 or any other Samsung device. We're actually going to leave it off on this device though, we're going to set it up as a brand new phone, um, but the option is there if you've got a previous Samsung phone, you can bring in settings using backup and restore. Um, Google's next, and we're just going to go off camera and enter our Google login details. Uh, so we're prompted to join Google Plus if we haven't already. Um, there's also a similar option to bring credit card information in if you've uh, not associated a card with your account through Google Play. Um, both pretty big parts of the Google experience these days, Google Play and Google Plus. Uh, so no big surprise to see them in the setup process. Back of and restore through Google as well. Um, again, we're going to set it up as a new device. Uh, but if you do have a previous Android phone, uh, it kind of works in the same way as Samsung's own restore service. Um, things like Wi-Fi passwords are restored through Android, um, which is nice to see. Uh, but we're just going to set this device up as a brand new one uh, to get kind of a, a feel for the uh, clean GS4 experience out of the box. Location consent is next. Uh, this is a standard Android thing. Let's Google uh, use Wi-Fi data uh, to determine your location, and uh, that's kind of a backup if GPS isn't working. Uh, Dropbox is bundled too, and you get 50 gigs of free storage. Uh, out of the box for two years, so the life of a standard contract. Uh, we're just going to go off camera and enter our Dropbox details. Next up, Dropbox Camera Upload. That's a feature that lets you automatically upload photos that you take um, when you're on Wi-Fi or data connection. And there's also a Samsung device uh, app request there that lets you hook Dropbox photos into the Stock Gallery app. Finally, we've got the key features page, and the idea here is to uh, get some of the key features of the device in front of you. So um, Samsung tells us that in previous devices, a lot of users didn't know about um, some of the cooler features because they weren't turned on by default. So here you've got them in a list, and it lets you uh, either turn on or turn off things like air gesture, voice control, all that stuff. And you've also got a paragraph or so underneath them that explains exactly what they do. And the last stage of the setup process is giving the phone a name. This doesn't really affect anything, but if you have multiple devices, it might be nice to uh, be able to tell one from the other. So we're just going to call this one Mobile Nations, and that's going to be it for us. And we're done with the setup process, and here we are at the home screen. We've got a Sprint Galaxy S4 here, so we're going to download some Sprint config information. And we've also got the Google pop-up thing for uh, app verification popping up, and you can either enable or disable that right away. Um, so through the magic of editing we're done with Sprint's download settings and uh, we can see we've got a few Sprint things on here, um, the usual Sprint apps that we're used to and a, a few new ones that might not be too, too familiar. Um, as you can see the UI is more or less the same as earlier Samsung implementations, uh, very familiar if you've been using an S3 up until now. But here's something that is new and it's something you might find yourself playing around with if you uh, pick up an S4 for the first time. When you unlock the screen, you get this neat little light pattern, um, kind of a lens flare effect. And if you've got air view enabled, uh, you'll also notice that there's kind of a flare that follows your finger around before it touches the screen, which is uh, really cool. So there you go, very quick first look at the setup process and uh, kind of getting started with the Galaxy S4. We'll have much more on this phone in the days and weeks ahead, so stay tuned to androidcentral.com.